In this video, I explain you central air conditioning systems. Before explaining this, I request you to watch the video on the window air conditioning and the split air conditioning. Link is provided on the top right screen from your mobile or from the eye symbol. You can watch this video. In that, I give you the introductions, various components and how it's work. The central air conditioning is generally used for the larger space or a cooling for the different rooms at the different temperatures. Then we use the central air conditioning system. Window and split is used for the small rooms, okay, up to the three or five ton capacities. When the capacity is increased 10 ton or 15 ton, it is better to use the central air conditioning systems. And it a central air conditioning system is also designed for the different uh, conditions or sorry for different seasons of the rooms. In this, uh, the different component is provided. It is not fixed. That is the same design is used for uh, all the central air conditioning systems. The central air conditioning system is designed according to these requirements of the customers. It is not fixed that is all the component is provided on central air conditioning system. Okay. So here it is a fresh air damper is provided. It is a filter of the air. Then the fresh damper. This damper is control the quality of the mass of air supplied. Means quantity of the air supplied it towards the cooling coils. It is a cooling coils. That means the evaporators backsides the refrigeration system is work so also the refrigeration plants is provided this portion is known as the ahu ahu means air handling units okay so air, all the process is carried out in this ahu units and it is noted as the ahu this is the cooling coil evaporator is provided here the heating coil is provided here it is a bypass damper then this cooling coil is for the cooling and dehumidification process Heating coil is for the different electric heater is installed or for the heating process. This is the water is spray for the humidification purpose. And there is the eliminators and this is the blower and this is the duct from where the air is supplied to the rooms. Okay. So it is used for the all conditions means for the winter season. We require the heating then we start the heaters and the humidification required and we start the spraying of the water. In the summer seasons, we require to the cool air, then we start these cooling coils by starting the refrigeration systems. Okay. Now, step by step, we understand what's the function of the each and every components. Now, the fresh air coming from the dampers. This fresh air damper is operated by using the thermostat. Okay. So, this thermostat is measured the return air temperatures or the room air temperatures on the basis of their supplying the fresh air. To the AHU units, it is filter and then supplied to the dampers. This damper is control the quantity of the mass flow rate. It is on one type of the valves. It control the flow rate of the air supplied it to the cooling coils. This air is passed from the cooling coil. Then it supplied the heat to the refrigerant inside that. Okay, so it's the cooling and dehumidification is takes place. Due to the dehumidification, one water tray is put at below the cooling coils and the water is supplied to the outside to the systems. So when the cooling is required, only the cooling coil is operated, heater and the pump is top. Okay. Then this cold air is uh, here the blower is installed. The blower is sucked this cold air and supplied it to the room. Now during the winter seasons, we require the heating. Then we operate the heating coils. Okay. It is electric heater or any heater is used. Okay. Then the fresh air is coming, it is passing from the heaters. When we require the heating, then the cooling coil is stopped, means refrigeration system is closed. When we require the heating, only that time heater is on. When we require the cooling, that type heater is off. Okay. So in this winter seasons, we are required a cooling and humidification. At that time, we on the heaters and humidification that water is spraying. So water is mixed with the air. So humidification is increased, then it is supplied in the room. When this humidification is done, at that time we require to the eliminator. What is the function of eliminator? So it is a absorb the water particles. When we doing the humidification, when we do the humidification, also some water particle is going with there. So eliminator is absorb the water particles and not supplied it to the fresh air with the air and into the rooms. Okay. And then sometimes this return air is come and it is mixed with the fresh air to reducing this temperature of the supplied air and so we maintain the temperature of the air. So it is the complete working of the central air conditioning systems. It is used for the larger capacities. Thank you for watching this video. If you learn then like the video, subscribe the channels and share with friends.